What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> Got my uh, sweatshirt on today. It's a little cold out. A um, little bit about the game. I actually like uploading videos from this iPhone. You know what? It uploads way quicker than that fucking camera. I really don't feel like waiting 30 minutes today or 40 minutes even to fucking get my video uploaded. So it's the frame's a little smaller, I understand, but just work with me here. But um, real quickly, I only got a couple minutes, but uh, who day? Go Bengals. We won. That's all that matters. We had a 14-point lead going into the fourth quarter. We gave that up. Damn near lost the game. I'm not proud of that at all. That's something that we can't do. You know, Cincinnati is probably one of the worst 4-2 and two teams I've ever seen. Honestly, I mean, they played good last week against New England. But, you know, keep in mind, you know, Tom Brady's not, I mean, he's still in his prime, but he just doesn't have a lot to work with. Like, the Patriots ain't what they used to be. Um... And uh, as far as the Bills go, I mean, Thad Lewis played good. He played really good. I think you Bills fans will be okay with him. I really do. Until E.J. Manuel gets back. Now, I want to say this right up front. If E.J. Manuel was in, we would have lost this game, obviously. Because, you know, we let a backup quarterback, Thad Lewis, come in and put two touchdowns on us and get back in this game. I mean, if that was E.J. Manuel, we, we would have lost. I mean, I know that. I mean, other Bengal fans, we should know that too. But, I mean... Either way, we got the W. Um, it took overtime to beat them, but uh, our defense stepped up once again. Our defense now. Andy Dalton did play good today, uh, way better than what he has been. Um, you know, threw three TDs through an interception, but you know the three TDs made up for it. We started out good. We had, like I said, we had a 14 point lead, but we let the Bills come back. We can't, you know, that's something we can't do. So, um, anyways, long story short, I'm glad we got the win. I want to. I, I want to get this out right now. I didn't realize Adrian Peterson's son died. Um, if I'd have known that, I'd have picked the Vikings uh, to win. I, th I th still think I did pick the Vikings to win. I can't remember. But anyways, um, so, yeah, Adrian Peterson, my thoughts, some prayers go out to you. I, I can't imagine how hard that would be. Um, I mean, Adrian Peterson actually isn't real far from me at all. I mean, I live in Sioux Falls, and he lives in Minneapolis, I, I think. I think he lives there. But uh, that's only about a five-hour drive from here, so, I mean, you know, we, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to have a, athletes like that close to you. You know, in my home state, you don't really get to say that much. But um, sometimes they come here for training camp, too, once in a great while. But uh, uh, anyways, guys, long story short, Bengals won. I'm glad they did. Um, I, I I didn't catch any other scores. Uh, Kansas City won. I, I, I wasn't really good on the afternoon games today. I, I think I only got a couple right. Uh, I picked the Bears to win. That, that happened. The Bears barely won that game. Um, by all accounts, really, the Giants should have won that game. They had a chance to, but they didn't. Um, the Vikings got spanked at home by Carolina. I didn't expect that to happen, but uh, uh, let's see. Kansas City won. They're still undefeated. Um, that that team's for real, honestly. Detroit won, uh, but with Brandon Whedon at quarterback. I mean, Brandon Whedon did do bad today, I will say. Um, Browns defense, you know, I mean, Matt Stafford just got it done today. I think the Bengals play them next week, and we're going to have our hands full with the Detroit Lions because for the longest time, the Detroit Lions were considered the worst team in the league, kind of like how Jacksonville's looked at. But now all of a sudden, Detroit Lions actually are in the mix. They got a team. Um, so going to be interesting to see. I think at Bengals-Lions next week, if it is, I think it's in Cincinnati. I mean, we're going to have our hands full with Matt Stafford and the Detroit Lions, no doubt about it. But anyways, that's neither here or there. I'll give you the week picks uh, coming up probably uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll see. I like to wait <clears throat> until Thursday even because the point spreads are more accurate. But um, anyways, yes, uh, good game to the Bengals, good game to the Bills. It was a good fought game. Uh, luckily, we came out on top in overtime. I'm not sure how that overtime rule works. I thought when they got a field goal that the other team had a chance, but maybe that's just the opening drive or whatever it is. I, I don't know. I don't get that new overtime rule crap. But I like it better when – the team, I mean, I mean, usually whoever wins the coin toss is going to win the game. Usually that's how it worked. But anyways, all right, guys, so we'll catch you later. Uh, good, good game to the Bengals. Not kind of an ugly win. Not really impressive, but, you know, we got it done. That's all that counts. So uh, we're going to see you guys soon and probably give you the picks sometime this uh, coming week.